online dating. Why, why is that a good avenue for women to uh, meet a guy? Um, I always approach it things in a in a very logical way. Uh, emotions tend to run high when it comes to dating and relationships. So I would say to anybody who has tried online dating and hated it, uh, I, obviously, you know, you're certainly entitled to your feelings and to to cast the side. If you don't date online, how often do you go on dates? Like, let's just start there. How many date? How many quality guys are you meeting? in real life and, and usually when that question is posed to people especially as we get older I'm turning 44 in a few weeks most of my clients are 35 to 50 55 uh, friends are married they work in small offices they don't meet guys just around on a day-to-day -day basis and so as a result they say I don't like online dating and I'm never meeting any guys so I guess that's just the way it's gonna be so they'll go on two dates a year when they meet a guy that they're attracted to, that's a bad numbers game, right? That's a, that's a losing proposition. So by learning to master online dating, to be successful at it, to find a way to enjoy it despite its inherent flaws, you could create a new date every week. You go out with one new person a week, you're gonna find love sometime in the next six months. That's, that's almost inevitable, right? But it doesn't happen by doing nothing. So. Um, I'm just a big proponent of online dating, not because it's perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it's because it's the only place that in a half hour a day, you can generate an instant social life. You could go to every meetup in the world and you could take salsa lessons and Spanish classes and still meet nobody. <laughs> and so um, to me, this is, for me, it became my whole social life, but for everybody else who doesn't like it, fine, it's a supplementary part. Go to a bar, get hit on by a bunch of losers, and then come home and put in your half hour a day into online dating the same way you put a half hour into doing cardio. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, one of the cool things about online dating too now is that it's becoming a lot more acceptable. And there's, you know, just millions and millions of people that are getting online uh, because they're busy, because they, you know, there's a lot of people that are working, you know, multiple jobs and they just don't have time to go out there and, and, and meet somebody in person. And uh, you're right, you know, like it's, it's like, okay, where do you go? You, you know, you go to bars and you meet people that hang out at bars. Like, where do I, where are all the quality relationship oriented guys hanging out as if you and I are keeping a big secret from everybody? Okay, there's this one place that only I know about, and that's where all the good ones are hanging out, and all the women are flocking there. It's, a, it's almost inherently ridiculous. The same way as if you were to say, where are all the quality women hanging out? Where are all the feminine, optimistic, confident, understanding, self aware women congregating? It's a non it's a non question and there's a non answer to it. So uh, let's just start with 90% of the people on any dating site are definitely not right for you. All right. So don't get too surprised and or upset that that proves to be true. And the people who date online are no different than the people who date offline. Right. Throw a dart at a stranger in a mall. What are the odds that you hit your husband? Right. So the people are not different. It's a different medium, but it's just a cross section of people from everywhere else and you have access to them, so it's a blessing. It's just a big box filled with people, right? And, and so you have a lot more options than you do when you're restricted to your own small social life.